AMD Ryzen 9 5950X has managed to make a lot of waves, and it is right now one of the most demanding processors with high-class features. Simply put, AMD has finally caught up to Intel in both single and multi-core performance, making AMD have the throne all over again. So, it's certainly something impressive. All the new Ryzen 5000 series are going to be available for purchase in a few days. So, this is the right time to start looking for the best motherboard for Ryzen 9 5950X, considering how it is a powerhouse of a processor that requires a motherboard that is just as good. With that out of the way, in this video, we will be shedding light on the top 5 motherboards that we think are great, because of course, which is one of the finest things that we can do in this regard. So, let us have a look, shall we? To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. Starting our list with the MSI Meg X570 Unify motherboard. The first motherboard on our list is coming straight from the long list of impressive options that MSI has graced us with. If you have been keeping a check on what MSI has been up to, then it is safe to say that you know that the components made by them are great through and through. The MSI Meg X570 Unify motherboard is just that, a motherboard that uses a tried and true formula, but still manages to deliver excellent performance across the board for a great price, as well. What are you getting out of this gorgeous motherboard? Well, let's look. For starters, there is no RGB on the motherboard, a bold decision by MSI, because normally, people run for such a feature. However, look aside from that, and you are getting a motherboard that has one of the most satisfying performances that I have seen till date, which makes it such a good potion. Another great thing is that it looks incredible with the stealthy looks. You are also getting a motherboard that is more affordable than some of the other options that are available for purchase. If you are the type of person who wants to connect a lot of fans, this is another great thing about this as you are getting plenty of headers, and the 90 degree front panel USB header is a treat to use. While I don't mind the lack of RGB at all, the same cannot be said about others, as this is a very polarizing exclusion for most of us. For anyone who is looking for a motherboard that delivers excellent performance across the board and looks stealthy while doing so, getting the MSI Meg X570 Unify motherboard makes more sense than anything else. You are not ending up with something that simply is not good enough as it delivers excellent performance through and through. At number 2 it's a SUS ROG X570 Crosshair 8 formula. To say that a SUS has not looked after the enthusiasts would be criminal, as that is not the case at all. Asus as a company has always made sure that they deliver on all fronts, and they have delivered. However, looking after enthusiasts is not the only thing Asus is good at as they are known for releasing a lot of other options too. But for now, we are focusing on the Asus ROG X570 Crosshair VE formula, because obviously, a Ryzen 9 5900X is going to require a motherboard that is good enough, or else you would be left without any real performance gains, in the first place. Thankfully, the motherboard is everything Asus promises, and more. Starting with a stellar performance across the board, and great looks, as well. I know a few people who might turn their heads looking at this motherboard, but this right here, in my opinion, is the finest looking option available. However, the performance is another great thing, and right out of the box, I can tell you that the motherboard is made for people who want to overclock, and you can see that by just looking at the water block on the VRM. So, it would be wasting your money if you don't go custom loop on this motherboard. The fast wireless and storage performance are also the cherries on top that you are getting. Therefore, if it is the performance you want to get, you certainly can get your hands on it, and you will not have any regrets. As for the downsides, I cannot think of anything wrong with this motherboard, aside from the fact if you are not using custom water cooling on this motherboard, you are wasting your money. I am going to be straightforward here if you want to get your hands on a motherboard that is essentially something that has zero compromises, the Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 formula is the one that you go for. I have been using this for some time now, and I can tell you that nothing comes close in terms of performance. At number 3 it's Asus Prime X570 Pro. Asus has always been very straightforward with their motherboard choices. Over the past couple of years, their Prime series of motherboards have always been great for anyone who wanted to buy a motherboard that delivered great performance and looks at the same time. Today, we have the Asus Prime X570 Pro, and it is nice to see that Asus has still done a great job in the performance department as the motherboard is something that performs great and looks the same while doing so. 
The best part here is that the motherboard brings a pretty attractive and neutral design language for anyone who is looking for a good motherboard. If looks are of concern to you, you will be getting those on this motherboard. The overall performance of this motherboard is also excellent, with the Prime delivering a fantastic out-of-the-box performance, and not just that, it offers one of the best memory overclocking support that we have seen on any available motherboard. Moving further, the Prime X570 a motherboard also comes with a 600 of VRM, which is one of the finest, when you are talking about overclocking as it delivers a fantastic overclocking performance through and through. Sadly, there are a few downsides. For starters, if you want the premium features like the Strix or the ROG series, you might not get those here, and there are some CPU overclocking limitations too. Overall, if you want to get your hands on a motherboard, that looks excellent, but at the same time, does not cost a lot of money, the Asus Prime X570 Pro is a fantastic choice for your money. Regardless of anything else, the motherboard's performance is consistent across the board. Not just that, you are also getting something that looks outstanding with neutral aesthetics, has solid VR MIS, class-leading IOA, and connectivity options, and is not going to cost a lot of money, to begin with. You truly will feel at home with this motherboard, and that is something we can guarantee. At number 4 it's MSI Meg X570 Godlike. MSI is back again with another great offering, but this time we are looking at something that is truly built for someone who has no issues with their budget and can buy the best possible offering that is available in the market. We are indeed talking about the MSI Meg X570 Godlike, as it is the highest end offering from MSI, and yes, it does look fantastic, and while it warrants a hefty price tag, if you know what you are getting yourself into, you would want to get your hands on this motherboard, too. To start with the good things, MSI's included LED panel with this motherboard is a lot of fun to use as it allows you to customize everything to your heart's content. Not just that, the infinity mirror look on the heatsink cover is great, especially with the lights turned on. Thankfully, the overclocking has been made a lot easier too, and if you want to overclock your Ryzen 9 9950X, which you definitely should, this motherboard is going to help you achieve that in no time. The networking on this motherboard is one of the highest events we have encountered so far, and you are also getting additional storage and NIC card if you want to spice things up. After testing this motherboard for some time, I can tell you right away that this is an expensive option, but all that money goes into making something that is only built for people who want to overclock their CPUs and get the best performance possible. Overall, I would say that the MSI Meg X570 Godlike is the motherboard to get if the money is not an issue. There are very few motherboards that can rival what this motherboard is capable of doing, and that is a testament to MSI's dedication. At number 5 it's Asus ROG Strix X570e Gaming. With Asus, the best part is that you are not always expected to pay the top dollar whenever you are buying a new motherboard or any other component, for that matter. You can just get your hands on a good affordable option. The Strix series is where the balance is for all the Asus users. The Asus ROG Strix X570e Gaming that we are looking at today is certainly the motherboard that one should go for if they are looking for a more affordable offering. For starters, you are getting a lot of USB 3.2 ports than some of the other options available, and the overclocking support of this motherboard is also reliable and solid across the board. You are also getting super-fast wireless networking and wired networking in the form of Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5G LAN, respectively. Another great thing here is that the overall price to performance ratio is excellent, as this motherboard is more affordable than the competition, giving you an edge here. Sadly, if you are looking for a lot of M2 connectors, then that is one thing that is missing here, since you are only getting two connectors, but that should not be a deal breaker for anyone. With the Asus ROG Strix X570e Gaming, it is safe to say that the motherboard is made for people who are looking to spend good money, but without getting any features that are not useful. I was a bit skeptical at first, having used more expensive motherboards, I figured the experience might not be the same. However, I am happy to report that this motherboard is everything that Asus had promised and more. This means that if it is the performance you are after, the motherboard delivers on that front, but if for some reason, you are looking for some gorgeous looks or fast wireless and wired internet, then this motherboard delivers on that front, too. As compared to the other Ryzen 5000 processors, choosing the right motherboards for the Ryzen 9 5950X was not as difficult. The reason behind that was rather simple, we wanted to look at the motherboards with excellent overall VRM quality, because that was the main thing that was going to be helpful. 
The good news is that we have managed to achieve that with the list, as you are getting a great overall list. We have managed to cover not just the more affordable motherboards, but some of the highest end ones. Rest assured, these motherboards will not run into any stability issues whatsoever, as far as the overall usage is concerned. However, we would advise you that you should be updating to the latest BIOS on all these motherboards before you install the new Ryzen 5000 processor, because otherwise, you might not be able to get any boot.